All right, hello everyone, and uh, I guess this is now going to be called Rhino Reveals. And uh, all I'm going to really do is open up the one box of Pokemon cards that I was able to get from Target today, as just about anyone else can only get one. Which, honestly, I'm pretty proud for that rule, or at least happy about it. This is mostly going to go into a YouTube video, so you don't even need to see it, you know, live and all that. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to unbox them, see what I got live. And I also wanted to talk about the story of getting them and how absolutely insane human beings are. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you like teetotaling and stuff, this is definitely going to be the job for you. Or at least it's going to be the video for you. Um, yeah, so let's begin. So first off, whenever you cut something open, you always want to make sure you get a knife that's good for the job. It's not too big. It's not obscene, meaningless. I need to clean it. This is an old Vietnam knife that I think that my grandpa gave my dad, and then he gave to me before I went to Afghanistan. And thankfully, I never had to use it, and I hope I never, ever will, because it's big, heavy, and scary, and good lord, is it just a nice knife. But I do need to clean it, because as you can see, the blade has been incredibly tarnished from uh, doing nothing with it. So, be extra careful with this. Put him to the side for later. So yeah, this is actually the first Elite Trainer box I got. Most of the ones I got so far have been... uh cheapo ones from uh, Walgreens, like the promo packs that have the one or two holo cards that are worthless, a, uh, a handful of trading card game, the online ones cards, and then like, you know, oh, in fact, I have one of them over here, one of these little doodads, the tiny little coins, which honestly, I love these things. I don't know why. Small trinkets and doodads are fantastic. Just like this. The good lord. Amiibos would be the death of me if I could not control myself. Puppy out. Let's see if I can undoodle the daddle. Alright. Okay, it's the art of the high-end cards for it. That's pretty neat. Little book about the play styles and such. Oh, nice. It's got a little outline of what all the cards look like, which is pretty dope. Honestly, I have... I have a different sheet to track all the stuff right here. God, I don't know why I like doing this. I honestly don't even like playing the game. I just like to collect the cards. The art's nice. The The idea of having pretty things is nice. I'll also show my collection that I have so far once I get a little bit further in. But yeah, I might keep this book and use this to catalog instead. Very cool. Definitely going to be keeping that. So half the reason why I chose Battle Styles is because they didn't have the other stuff. Plain is simple. But uh, also I did get the, the first cards that I got were Battle Styles as well. And uh, I'm going to co complete that set if I can. Okay, how to play the game. Someday I'll learn that. Not today. Packs themselves. More doodads and dilly bops to collect and hold. 
Oh god, I hope my mic's on. Okay, yeah. Woo. Okay. I did forget this though. Turn that down a little bit. There we go. Love me some Pokemon music as well. Yep, more doodads to collect. It's tokens for marking different things. You know. Oh no, this Pokemon's injured or whatever. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Uh, ooh. Card sleeves, if I ever did build the deck. Hell yeah. Fill out that energy bit in the back of my binder. Um... These things, which are, uh, yeah, this is what they are. Um, it says I was only supposed to get two of these. Whatever, I'm not gonna say no. All right, yeah, card sleeves, energy cards, how to play. Six counter dice, one legal flip coin die. I don't see any dice in here. They ruined me on the dice. Oh well. It's just dice. Oh, dividers for the collector's box. That's pretty cool. I'm sure, I'll find some use for that for something. Yeah. I didn't get no dice. What a ripoff. Again, no. Little collector or one of the TCG card game things. Really cool. I have my own micro binder full of these guys, too. So. Curious. And honestly, if you are watching this in some way or another, you can absolutely just uh, follow me once I get to subscribe, or if you say anything, I will give you a card right now. Same thing if it's on the YouTube video. If you post down below, I'll send you a code. I don't care. I don't care about the price. God, I love this. Alright, first one open. Then I'll start talking about how, uh, insane human beings are. I have been having a good bit of luck with the, uh, promo cards, though. Or the promo packs. I've gotten, like, a Rainbow Rare, got a bunch of the VMAX. Okay. First, I'll put that to the side so no one steals it. Tepig. Hone Edge, that's a new one for me. Electro Buzz. Ooh. Always love me some Electro Buzz. Ball Toy. Gligar. Whoop. Ooh, Embor. I always love it when you complete a series of the cards. That's a big one. Boltund, I think I got like six of them. Green Energy. Lysagore. And a couple of the trainer boys. Mustard. I do like me some mustard. Alright. So, slow start, but we'll see if we can pick it up. But yeah, the big thing is that today was a lunatic day. I woke up extra early to go wait in line at Target, as everyone has to for cards. And, I mean, last week I did it, nothing weird happened. The only thing is that I got like, I got like a nothing pack. I don't know why. I think I just kind of freaked out at the counter. <laughs> I'm not very good at some social situations. Alright. Pop this puppy open. God, it feels like there's a Tepig in every pack. Let me just put that on the front. Oh. 
up the, the exact same pack. Wow. Oh, that's a new one. I guess that's one of the Sword and Shield Pokemon. I'm not 100% sure about all of them yet. Another new one. I don't even have a grass stack yet. Electricity. Carnivine. Oop. Pharaoh. I remember one of the very few uh, Pokemon... I think it was a VHS that we had. It was when Ash gets attacked by the Pharaohs and his Pidgeot evolves into a Pidgeotto. Drop that one. And also a Grumpig with this really trippy art. I love it when they do the weird art or they do like uh, a live sculpture. Like a clay sculpture in real life. Alright, continuing on. So, uh, line up and everything, and it's all uh, relatively normal. When we get inside, this lady cuts to the front of the line, which is bizarre. Uh, this, this Hispanic lady, and um, I think she was with a dude, too. And the guy at the front of the line grabbed onto the dude and was saying some rather rude things that I won't uh, say. I'm trying to be polite and gentlemanlike. And uh, <laughs> it ended up, like, breaking into a big loud uh shouting match of hostilities and it came to the point where the guy behind him was saying you know hey yeah yeah, yeah stop that and he finally turned around i got to see what he looked like and the dude uh was wearing a q anon shirt which if you don't know what that is good don't learn it's fine i'll continue the story after these cards so cherubi Horsey. Lickitung. Oh, I love Lickitung. That's a little weird to say. Another Electra Buzz. Maybe I shouldn't enjoy Electra Buzz. Esper. Luxray, which is, um, I think that completes a set for me, too. Not a fan of Luxray, though. Ooh! Okay, this is. Ooh! This is a Rainbow Rare, uh, the Shuru VMAX, baby. Oh, let me turn off that light. There we go. Eh. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I gotta go grab the top loaders. I'll be right back. The big thing to always remember as a collector. Take care of your cards. As well as trust in the heart of them. I always do. I personally uh, double protect. So yeah, that's kind of like the, that's like the key card of this. It's not the most valuable or the best looking. That goes to uh, Tyranitar, which is the one that I am gunning for. I want that Tyranitar more than anything. Oh, this is the best song for battles too. Heck yes. Hell, heck yeah. Heck yeah, Mom! I got the cool Pokemon! Oop. Don't want to reveal that. More energy. Another EXP share. I already have a couple. Per Ugly. Worthless. And Tower of Darkness, which I already have one. Damn, this day is going to be a pretty nice day. I say that in his Denver restaurant week. But anyway, continuing on. So the dude in the QAnon shirt, 
uh, turns around, and apparently the guy behind him said something under his breath, and it just set this dude off. And he's yelling and screaming and just losing his mind, and he turns to the guy's kid and says, I will kill your effing kid. And I'm like, what in God's name? Like, it's a... It's an F-wording Pokemon card. It's Pokemon. It's not worth your god dang life. And that, I hate that. That infuriates me more than anything else in the world. Because, I mean, it's like I've seen... I've seen awful stuff in war. Absolutely horrible things. And I never want anyone to have to undergo and or see that type of thing. And the fact that someone would be so cruel as to just say that, like, infuriates me. It's 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 mind-numbing. Blows my absolute freaking mind. But we're here now. We're good now. And we're going to keep up the pace with a bell sprout, Bronzong, which is good. I don't got a lot of steel. Murkrow, which is good because I don't got much dark either, which are two of my favorite. And of course, I don't have a lot of them. Horsey, another cherry. Ooh. Bruxish. cool. It's a little parrot fish. Oh. Ooh. Flapple. Flapple. A flying apple. Flower apple or flying apple? Beats me, but it's a V card, and it looks nice. Reep, reep, reep. Hell yeah. That's cool. Darkness. Fan of waves. Another dabble. And a uh, housemaid. How dandy. So, yeah, just be nice to other people. It's just freaking Pokemon cards. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be a life or death thing. It should not. Absolutely. That's just good lord. Ugh. I'm honestly still irritated about it. Major props to the store managers of all the targets around the world who have to deal with this crap. <laughs> of lunatics just coming in and being monsters and such. But <sighs> See, that's why you should always treat your restaurant workers and your uh, minimum wage employees for stores uh, as best you can. Because they, they work a hell of a freaking job. They de-escalate de situations much better than cops do. Like 99% of the time. Continuing on. Got a hone edge. Another Gligar. Might as well start a box of, of Gligars and Electra Buzz. Bell Sprouts. I mean, that makes sense. There's Bell Sprouts everywhere. Bronzongs. Uh, Dirty Snake. No, Sandaconda. <laughs> Sandaconda. I honestly have been a little bit out of it from uh, Big Sand Cannon. Um. I've been a little bit out of it for Pokemon for a while. I have not played Sword and Shield. Kind of thinking of rectifying it the more I do this. Ooh, Galarian Slowbro. I always love Slowbro. Oh, yes. For you all. And he's dark. Where's my dark pile? In there. Energy. Honchcrow. That's good. I always love to complete an evolution set. Seedra. And a Weeping Bell. Bam. So 
organize these cards a little touch. That way I can show it off at the end about what I got. But yeah, please just be nice to your be nice to your minimum wage workers. They work so hard. Also, I am a minimum wage worker and I work so hard. And so are a few of my other friends and their streamers too. But yeah. Don't be a dick. This guy was just a lunatic too. I do feel sorry though because the the guy who got kicked out alongside the lunatic is, uh, like he brought his kid with him. Granted, he was probably going to try and use that to get more packs and stuff, and then just sell them anyway. But, I don't know, maybe he was just getting them for his kid. If he did, that would be a nice thing to do. If he wasn't going to do that, screw him. But, I'm not going to judge. I was trying to look for those Shining Fates uh, boxes because those are the ones that everyone wants for that uh, Charizard. Which honestly, I think Charizard is overrated. Tyranitar is so much better than Charizard. Like in every way, too. Clean and tidy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that data. Honestly, just be excellent to one another. Everything will be okay. And also the fact that Target's only doing like, you know, one Pokemon card item per person that comes in. That's a great idea too gonna stop scalpers a lot <laughs> take that to the side all right we got a hound hour skitterbug another honed edge I'm gonna have like a pile of swords and gligars and electropus so this one Fomantis. he is a bug Stone Jua. Sonunia. I don't know how to say it. Rock. Rock person. Electric. Bruno. Again. Hi, my name is Bruno. Carcoal. And the Pigonite. So the neat little bit about this is that uh, this Pigonite art is actually the opposite art for the alternate art of the Tyranitar in the series. Which I'm going to get today, I promise. Well, actually, probably not. I did wish on a shooting star last night, and that's how I got this guy. I mean, I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's what happened. Always wish on a shooting star. Never, never leave it up to chance. All right, Glamiao, Silicobra. I think that's completed the Cobra family. Frillish, another Houndor, another Skitterbug. Ooh, Golbat. You know, I think Golbat and, honestly, Crobat's a lot better. Everyone knows that. But Golbat is a bit of an underrated Pokemon. He's always pretty good. He's great uh, great poison damage. Marowak. Looks like one of the older style of artwork, too. I love that. When, these, when the art... Honestly, that's half the reason I collect these puppies. The art is so good. 
The classic stuff is so wonderful looking. And the Tower of Waters. It's a new one. Oops. Kind of keep forgetting to show you guys. Maybe I should just put the put the secondary thing on my head so I can just stare down at it. Karina's focus. Another fat cat. Oh, and I probably already gave someone the card, but I'm going to leave it there. So if you got that one, let me know. <laughs> yeah, this binder is just two really, whoops, two really fat stacks of them. And someone probably got that one too. Let me know in the comments below. What's Gligar doing all over the way over there? All right, last pack. Tyranitar is going to be in here. He doesn't even need to be like a super rare one. I just want a Tyranitar. That'd be so cool. I'll, leave, I'll even settle for a uh, Larvitar. Okay. I mean, this does feel like a good stack. I feel, I feel good vibes here. Timber. Another Tepig. Another cat. Another snake. Another. Okay, never mind. Ooh. Bufalent. It's a new one for me. Or Beetle. That's a new one too. That completes another set. Fire. This is actually the first fire I got. Spewda. Spewda. Mustard again. And another Golbat. Alright, now for the teetotaling and to see how much this Urushu VMAX is rainbow rare is worth. So first I'm gonna do that. Put that guy there. Looks like about 40 bucks. That's good. Well, depends. Ugh, I keep clicking on the same Amazon link. There we go. Okay, yeah. Not too bad. Yeah, 
So, literally this one card is about worth the entire amount of money that I paid for the box. Which is pretty good. In my book, at least. It means that I came out all balanced. Yeah, so now my wife can't complain. Problem solved. Alright, now for the part that everyone likes. The binder. So, yep, yeah, just goes to show that it's always worth it to uh, wish upon a star. I do like these guys, though. If I do ever start an actual deck, like I get enough good, worthwhile cards for it, I will use those. gigantic knife away always make sure that you cross lock your uh, large blades that way uh, when you need to defeat the ogre that breaks into your house it's very easy and quick to just pop it out and then chuck it out Ching. so long gay ogre oh. I gotta clean it sharpen it everything But I digress. I think today I also might try and stream some uh, Outlanders. Or Outriders. Because that game's a lot of fun. Okay. Actually, organize this the correct way. Grass, fire, water. Lightning, psychic, fighting. So grass. Fire, water. Bimp, 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 bimp. This is my favorite generation. Solely for Halucha. If anyone watching this has a Halucha card that they want to get rid of, let me know. I will give you something from this pile that I pulled out today for a Halucha. God, I mean, he's just so cool. Water. And lightning and Psychic. <laughs> Lightning Psychic And it's fighting This music just goes so much harder than it needs to. <laughs> Followed by Dark. Steel. And Normal. And then those trainer cards. So this will also let you see my growing collection. A fine addition to my collection. Uh, 
I am gonna I did have doubles stored in here, but it looks like I'm gonna get way more doubles than I ever expected. So I'm only gonna have one foil and one non-foil version in each slot. No one cares apart from me. Spupa is 12. Skittlebug is 11. Mantis is a 14, 11, 18, Weeping Bale, I remember too the one time I got cards of like a little kid, he had so much Bell Sprout, like billions of Then there's also things like that dude on Reddit who had the entire an entire binder from front to back full of just Diglett. And it felt so uncomfortable looking at it. Like I said, that's what uh that's what you would find inside of a serial killer's house. After all his friends are like, he's so normal, I don't get how he could do this. And then they go through them and they find a thousand Diglets. Probably a Diglett body <laughs> Vivillian. That's one full set. Alright. Bam. So I got missing like four on the front. I don't do front and back, I only do one side. I'm just gonna get more things for it. Uh oh. Eleven. Twelve. I honestly really like to see the pages get full up all the way. I probably won't even get that today. Fourteen. Oh, so close. Just two more grass. Okay. Fire time. Yep, I already got a Vin City V. Pretty cool. Tepig, or you got one. Pig a Knight. He gets a spot. some of these guys. So my whole plan is I'm just going to have one regular and then one hollow in there. And an Embor. Except for the ones that only have the hollow. It's like the, what is it? The parallel rares and all that stuff. Alright. Not too many fires. A bit sad. Frillish, I already got one. Two. Brooksish. Which is a 43. Those are 35s. 41, 42, 43. Yes, I do that every time because I am of low intelligence. Five. Thirty-four, thirty-three, thirty-two. Damn, just need a Kingdra. Damn, that's it for water. creatures of Mr. Mime. Humanoid Pokemon always bring up the weirdest questions. Like, do you think... No, being a mime is a job in the Pokemon world, and it has to be. Yeah, that's a parallel.
Hey, brother. Tapu Gogo. Okay, Electro Buzz of 44. 48, 47, 46. Sorry, you got the big brain acting up. 49, 48, 47, 46. 45, 44. Forty-eight. Cuts before forty-nine. I do like it too when you can look at like the binder and you can see where the whole series is gonna be. Like obviously it's gonna end at the Lux Ray, but then you got the Shanks and all that. I have completed a separate set of uh, his evolutionary tree. Which I can't recall off the top of me, top of me head. Yep, already got a bolt end. Good lord, I got four Electra Buzzes. If you or a loved one would like an Electra Buzz, please let me know. Mm. I love canned coffee. I'm in a good mood today. I got to work out nice and early. I got to do my full workout. Oh, so nice. 59. 6 Ugh, Esper is so creepy. Dotlers and Orbeetles. Uncomfortable Grumpig. Bunch of all toys. That is the one part of card collecting I despise, when you get all these dupes. Zero six. Seven fifty-six. And there should be a. Eventually, I'll get the sproink to fill it out. Seven sixty-six. Sixty-five. Got a parallel right there. Very nice. Oh, it's all coming together. I'm so happy. All right, continuing on. Silicobra. It's 80s, 73, 71. So I think the lowest fighting number I got, he do be Marowak, out of 70, 68, 69, 70, wait, yeah, 68, 69, 70, this is going to be a stream about watching me count, it's going to be a ton of fun. Counted to 78. No fucking. No one's ever. No one's ever counted to 78 before. It's impossible. That's how children are. In. No. I mean, that would be funny if that would be like. Actually, that sounds like a Rugrats joke. Let me take out one of these Onyxes. What? No one's ever counted a 68 before. I know. 
and believe it was possible. Most people only go up to succeed in 65. Honestly, the Beefy Boy series, I think that was kind of a waste. Uh, Black and, Black and White didn't have the best Pokemon. I think that it had too many, too. I think it could have done with, like, half of those. Because a lot of them just kind of feel redundant. Throw and Sock are great. I love, uh, I love a Judo Pokemon. I love Judo. Should be Throw, Sock, Choke, and Crab. Grab. Grab would be a cr crab, but it has, like, more fingers. So it grabs on and then... Grab it, grab it. Damn, I just invented a new Pokemon. Silicobra, Sandaconda. Oops. Yeah, this is when this is one of my pages of shame where there's nothing I can put in there. Would you believe that I love fighting Pokemon? I know, me? Me? Liking fighting? No way! But it's true, I love them. Some of the coolest. Golbat. Golbat normal. They're in the 90s. So 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90. This Crobat's gonna be all by himself when I get him. Couple of hound hours. I already got one, so. Murkrow, Hunchcrow. It's a 95. It's a 94. 93. Galarian Slowbro. 92. I kind of wish they had more foil packs. Like, because, I mean, they do have these little icons for rares down by the number, but I wish that they would just make all rares foil. I know that's expensive more, but I think Pokemon might have enough money for it. It's just a guess. They're kind of one of the biggest, like, game companies in the world. Colonel, have you heard about Pokemon? Raiden, what the hell is Pokemon? Pokemon's a collectible game. What you do is you collect these cards. And then you manage to avoid drowning. God, I literally have six swords. There was a sword in almost every pack. The big bow. So 118. I already had a Lickitung? Fake Lickitung fan here. Right 
Yeah. Throw all these cats into the trash. Feed them to Bacavi. Maybe he'll like them. Before I knew what was and wasn't rare, I double bagged a few of these dumb cards. So I gotta undouble bag them. Do, 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 do. Cats. And DD, more cats. Look at tongue. And a pharaoh. 112. some of these cards too. Not that one. That one. My double trainers. All right, 127. Man, I know that they don't put a lot of trainer cards in there because people want the Pokemon. Like, that's what you come here for, so that's what you're gonna get. The Pokemons. Every time I see this card, it pisses me off. Not for anything in particular, it's just ugly. Dumb kids. Whatever. Dumb thing, don't want to focus. Yeah, I don't want to focus, Lois. Dogs be going crazy, right, boy? I love my dog. He doesn't really care about that stuff. See if I can bring this closer. <laughs> eh, a little bit. Just wanted to show you that fancy little cricket tune. Yeah, now I got some room for random crap and then it's on to the shining fate stuff that I didn't get any for today but yeah 
Got a lot of these guys. A lot of these guys. A lot of monkeys. A lot of monkeys. Tons of monkeys. Look at all these, look at all these freaking monkeys I got. Yeah, they're like climbing up the walls and stuff. There's monkeys everywhere. Monkeys. Can't deal with these monkeys. Look, right here, got another monkey. Oh, look, he's a shiny monkey. Parallel monkeys. When you get two monkeys next to each other, the parallel. I'm sorry, I'll stop. Booezels. Booezels. Another horsey. Yep, so here it is. The Shinx Luxio Lux Ray set. I'm gonna get that one signed by uh, Vinny Vine Sauce when I eventually meet him someday. This specific coffin. Got a bunch of these guys too. Oh yeah, the ditto. He be, he be big. I love Ditto. I think back when I played Neopets as a kid, my name was like Ditto24868132. So it's everyone's favorite ball guy. Yep. A couple pages later, I got like the the secret set or whatever it is. Uh, down my ass. Put it in backwards. No, I remember. I put them in backwards because I said I was going to for this. There we go. Yep, and then some promo cards. Lots of these promo guys because for a good while. Uh, the only place that you could get Pokemon was Walmart, and all they had were the packs that had the... It was like $6 a pack, so it, was, it cost extra, but it would have, like, one of these useless guys and then one of the little tokens. Yep. Then when I log off, I'm probably going to load up this wall with just art and such. And last but not least... I do one to put in the back. So as you can see here, I got an Eternatus V. And I gotta say, this is the best looking card I think I've ever seen in my life. Like, the black and gold, it just looks good. I think it's worth a little bit, too. And then this was from the very first pack of Pokemon cards I ever got. And I felt so... I, that is the whole reason I'm collecting. Because I'm like, shit, if I got one... Language. If I got one that was that good, just off the drop, I mean, who knows what else? So, the first one I got, yeah, it's only worth like 15 bucks. But, I don't know, it's a rainbow. And of course, adding it to the pile, the Urshifu VMAX. I'm very happy with that. That was a good day. That was a good pull. So I know no one really watched this. Well, it says that someone did. <laughs> someone out there is on the stream. And it's not just me. 
Marlo Webb Wiu. However you say your name, I would like to thank you for coming, even though it is at the end. But, yeah. That's my Pokemon cards. A ton of them. And I'm going to trim up this video a lot. Put it on YouTube. So you can follow me there. Uh, A-L-B-N-O-R-H-N-O. At YouTube. Yeah, that's what my... Well, it's not the at part, but... Art. A-L-B-N-O-R-H-N-O. -N -O on YouTube. I'm going to do a video there too. You can also check out my Majora's Mask video. That I talked about how good that was. And a Monster Hunter Rise review. I'm going to be doing... I think for the next big review is going to be probably uh, Resident Evil, the new one when it comes out. And yeah, if you have tuned in and you would like to get a uh, one of the TCG cards, let me know, and I will get. Or sorry, one of the TCG online cards. Let me know and I'll give it to you. I have a binder full of them. Oop. Yeah, packed full. I think there's probably like 20 in there now. Maybe maybe even like 25. And honestly, I want to just give them away for people who sub and all that. And yeah, so that's everything that you're going to find inside of a Battle Styles box. I was very happy about that. Very worthwhile. And also, uh, I'll probably just give away a bunch of these other random at, random butt TCG cards as well. So if you know any good places or anyone who actually really wants them, let me know. It's just a bunch of randoms and spares and all that crap. Uh, and yeah, be good people. Like I said earlier, good lord. People can be monsters. And don't be a monster. Be a nice person. Help others. Don't assault other people and tell them that you're going to kill their children while waiting in line for Pokemon cards at a Target. It's that simple. So yeah. I'll probably be back in about 30 to 40 minutes. I'm going to be playing some Outriders. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and stream it to... Uh, stream it off my Xbox. That game's a lot of fun. A good little bit to watch too and yeah thank you very much and i hope you all have a great day bye